A $10 million national research project in Singapore will bring hospitals together in treating sarcopenia. Officials termed a disease, officially termed a disease just nine years ago. It is characterized by severe muscle loss and it can lead to greater frailty and lower immunity. Mohamed Bajaj with more. 72-year-old Madam Chu often felt weak and found it tough moving around the house. While she thought it was due to old age, a doctor's visit showed she had sarcopenia. She is among one in three adults aged 60 and above in Singapore with the condition. It is marked by a loss of muscle mass and strength, mainly due to a person's age, diet and lifestyle. It's a very multifaceted disease. Our muscle, while it is you know, very intuitive, a link to our movement. It also affects our immune systems, uh, leading to a higher chance of infection if, it's, if the muscle health is poor. But at the same time also, that can also lead on to more social anxiety, loss of function, and all these results in a poorer qual quality of life. Little is known about sarcopenia, which was termed a disease by the World Health Organization only in 2016. Dr. Ko says that interventions into sarcopenia are still rudimentary. They include resistance-based exercise and a high-protein diet. At the moment, there is no concerted uh, national approach for sarcopenia. There is no routine uh, diagnosis of sarcopenia in our population today, and we are hoping to change that. I think the main reason why sarcopenia is difficult to treat is that there is no known, uh, no effective, no known effective treatment uh, to date. The Mechanistic Investigation and Clinical Innovation for Sarcopenia Diagnosis and Therapy, or MAGNET, will involve a multidisciplinary team of molecular biologists, clinicians and computer scientists. The project will use AI to develop tools and screening methods to detect the disease early by tapping a thousand in-depth samples from local hospitals. Project MAGDAT uh, is the first national effort uh, of focusing on the sarcopenia among all the countries that we know. And uh, this is also the most, as I said, the, in terms of quality, in terms of the scale, in terms of the depth of the study, uh, we would definitely put Singapore at the forefront uh, in, the, in, the, in the world. The research project aims to come up with new therapies and preventive treatments within its funding period of five years.